What I'm about to tell you is not safe for work. NSFW is an abbreviation, but more specifically, an initialism. And even more specifically, a warning. Here's another warning. I'm about to explain things of an adult nature. If you're not an adult or don't wish to hear things of an adult nature, then get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no, don't get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Politely move on to the next thing. My name is not the same when spelled backwards. This is Good Bad English. Let's learn about sexy abbreviations. Mind the gap. People abbreviate shit to make shit shorter. In short, acronyms are shortened shit that you can say as words, like LOL. Initialisms use the initial letters to shorten shit, and can't be said as words such as ROTFL, meaning roll on the floor laughing. And lastly, contractions shorten shit by cutting shit from the middle of shit. <laughs> Seriously. Ready for the sexy stuff? Mine. If somebody asks you where the ATM is, they'll be looking for the automatic teller machine, a cash machine. If somebody texts you saying, I can't get you money ATM, it's because they can't get you money at the moment. If somebody tells you they want to pay for ATM, they probably want something retracted from an ass and put into a mouth, meaning ass to mouth. Of course, Understanding context will help avoid confusion. BBC is commonly understood as an initialism for the British Broadcasting Corporation. If you were to see the link BBC on certain websites such as Hornpub, clicking on it would lead you to a page displaying big black cocks. Here are another couple of contextual cock-ups you could make. If you have a PhD, you could have a pretty huge dick. If you say you're an MBA student, you could be saying that you're married, but available. Yep, in the context of sex, there's a whole lot of shortened shit. The list is as long as a person with a PhD. I'll help you get started by explaining some of the more common ones. Probably the most common acronym that is both sweary and sexy is MILF. Mother, I'd like to fuck. The term took off when the hit Hollywood film American Pie used it to describe a yummy mummy. Daddy I'd like to fuck, Dilf, or Father I'd like to fuck, Filth, are the male equivalents. Okay, tell us in the comments what GILF stands for. Depending on your kink, meaning sexual preference, you might be familiar with bondage, discipline, or domination, sadism, and masochism making the initialism BDSM. If you're only into the giving and receiving of the pain part, say you're into sadism and masochism by saying you're into S&M. Another film based on a popular book brought this initialism into common understanding. To familiarize yourself with S&M, check out Fifty Shades of Grey, the fastest selling paperback in UK history, those kinky Brits. In my teens, my classmates and I would use the initialism BJ to describe blowjobs, as in oral sex on a penis. None of us was getting or giving BJs, but we would fantasize about the day that we would have a GF for such things. GF and BF are obviously girlfriend and boyfriend. If you're GF or BFless, you might be gratifying yourself manually with the assistance of a website or three. FYI, the following list of abbreviations has nothing to do with my website browsing history. Somebody told me that you might see the following abbreviations for categories on porn websites. So, double penetration, DP, refers to two objects entering one or two orifices of a single individual. <laughs> you like how technical I can make all this filth? Big Beautiful Woman, BBW, refers to... Yeah, that does need to explain. Clothed female, nude male, CFNM, is interesting. Point of view, POV, is for people that like to imagine the person holding the camera is them while somebody else goes down there to take care of things. Down there is a polite term for penis. Check out my episode on other English words for penis. If your browsing session takes you to websites with cam girls or cam guys, then you'll probably see the initialisms PM for private message, so sending a direct message privately to the cam star, or PV for private viewing, so a private show for you. You might see BRB, meaning be right back, as the cam star buggers off to the toilet before you finished fapping. FAP is not an acronym, but 
I thought it was, and maybe you did too. If somebody is fapping, they'll be masturbating. Fap is an onomatopoeia, meaning a fancy way of describing a word made from how a sound sounds. So, e.g. woof, nino, and sizzle. So, so I'm told that fap is the sound testicles make when a penis possessor masturbates. <laughs> Ew. Before I F off, check out the other episodes in my abbreviation series. There's the introduction episode where you can learn what Dillagaff means and 20 other sweary abbreviations. There's another where you can learn about bastardized abbreviations, such as da fuck. Lastly, have your say before I put this shit together. Join me on Instagram and or Twitter to answer questions that I have related to upcoming episodes. That's all for now. Thank you for joining me and remember, don't fat too much. See you in the next one.